New developments in the case of the Georgia toddler found dead inside of his father's SUV. The child was trapped on a sweltering June day. This morning, the lawyer representing the mother, Leanna Harris, is blasting the media for judging her lack of emotion. A statement says, quote, Leanna's every word, action, and emotion, or failure to cry in front of a crowd, is scrutinized for some supposed hidden meaning, end quote. Leanna Harris is not charged with a crime. CBS News legal analyst Ricky Kleeman is with us. Ricky, good morning. Good morning. So what do you make of this statement? I think that the lawyer is doing a really terrific job here. This is a tactical decision. He decided that he had to go out front and say, hey, wait, what if you were a parent and you lost your child and you were truly innocent? How horrific would this be for you? So he has two audiences, the public potential jury pool, and he also has the media. Now, the downside to it is it, of course, creates a new news cycle. We're talking about it today. And I know here we tried to give both sides of the issue, but on certain other stations and, of course, in social media, people can blast people. Interestingly, it did not mention the husband and father. It did not, but that doesn't affect me. I think that this is time for Mr. Zimmerman, who, by the way, has an excellent reputation, to do what he needs to do for his client. And he wants to push it out there, push it back against the media that has taken odd actions or perhaps suspicious actions, labeled her guilty, labeled her a baby killer when she could have been totally innocent. Think of what that would do to you if you're a parent. If you were Leanna's lawyer, what would you be advising her? Stay in the spotlight or stay out of it? She needs to stay totally out of the spotlight now. If I'm advising her, I do two things. Number one is I debrief her and I also ask if she would take a private polygraph, a lie detector test under the attorney-client privilege. If she passes that lie detector test, I go running to the prosecutor and I say, hey, wait a minute. Let's look at this. I polygraphed her. I've listened to her. She's telling the truth. And I think that you should cut her some slack. Because she's at danger of being complicit here? She's in danger of being suspected of being complicit. So she's either going to become a defendant or a witness in this case. Ricky, thank you very much.